This is the second of the two cars in the Elite Bundle out today in the Crew Motorfest. And yes, the only way to get the SC20 or this thing is in this bundle. You can't buy them separately. But this thing right here, I was pretty worried about because I'm fairly sure this thing is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly ugly. And I'm not expecting it to handle very well either. Well, both of those queries, both of those aspects of this car are figured out in this video right here. So head down there and subscribe while I take you back to when I started this video, first checking out the Bugatti Atlantic Concept. Okay, right, where is the thing that I'm absolutely not looking forward to checking out? This thing, honestly, is probably already, just looks wise, my least favorite hypercar in the entire game. Oh, it's red in the image there. Okay, so we already basic. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Do I like it a bit more now that I'm actually looking at it in game? Hang on. Oh no. I think I actually kind of don't mind this thing. Oh, it's zippy. Oh, it's zippy. Okay. I am quite worried that I don't mind this thing, honestly. Before we customize it, let's try and escape. Bone stop. First person, it's a Bugatti. This is the most Bugatti interior I've ever seen. This could literally be in any other Bugatti. But I mean, come on. It's still the most goofiest. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't actually end up liking this thing. I can't. Okay. Customization. Is there going to be any? Because there wasn't on the SC20. If you didn't check out that video, that video is also up on the channel right now. Is there any customization? On the Bugatti Atlantic concept. Well, we won't know. Color. Oh, we've got way more color than the SC. That's a good start. We can actually do any color we want. We have the two-tone colors. I wish we could customize these. I, I really wish we could customize these. But there is some nice one. That yellow and black is sticking out. Oh, the little Veyron color scheme. I see what you're doing, Bugatti. I see what you're doing. That one, I understand. Okay. Oh, we even got like the... We can La Voice Noir it. We can... We can... The Black Noir, this thing. Then we got visual parts. Visual parts. Visual parts. Okay. I'm gonna say... Okay, look. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm not even gonna bother being optimistic. Rims and calipers. Oh, oh, there's a third. Oh, we actually got secondary rims, which is nice. Uh, we got this, which, sure, I'm just going to leave that as blue. It matches. And we got interior customization. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. This isn't... This car is more customizable than the Lamborghini SC20. <laughs> oh, I like that we can make the steering wheel blue there. That's fun. Oh, whoa. That is a weird looking... Okay, interior thing. There we go. The black definitely doesn't work for the rims on this color scheme, but I'm going to stick with it just for the sake of... You know, it's not the stock. I want to go with something that isn't the stock. I mean, it looks nice on that, I will say. It this... Oh! Full solid color makes it look really nice. Because then it just becomes a normal car. This is a Bugatti. This is like... A, like, this is an ugly Bugatti. This is an alright looking Maserati. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Look, maybe, maybe, honestly, I don't know. This thing, this thing, it's kind of... It's kind of getting to me. Okay, we got customization on the vanity side, which is always nice. But I'm probably not going to go out with anything. Like, anything, anything. I mean, it just wouldn't make sense. I mean, we could go with that, I guess. It's dumb, but sure. I like the blue rims. and the, Well, not the blue rims. The blue calipers matching the interior. And then we'll go blue at the back as well, I guess. NOS-wise. Engine kit will go... Uh, hoon it up, which I don't believe I've actually heard yet. I've not done a video with hoon it up yet. We got the vintage window tint, which I don't really care for. We do have the generic window tint. I'm not going to do any anything with any of that because I want the interior to noticeably match. Going to go with a more accurate blue. And that is surprisingly the more customizable of the two cars. In fact, let's steal those damn parts off of the SC20. 
This is, this is the Bugatti Atlantics game now. With the hooded up kit. Oh, okay. Plasma Nos does not look like what I thought it looked like. Handling? Oh, this thing sucks. Oh, this thing sucks. Oh, it sucks. Oh, it sucks. How hard did it want to snap back there on me? Vehicle, do you want to behave, maybe? Okay, well, I was hoping for a more intense Grand Race section. Again, it's the final section, and that's the issue. I wanted a first section. In my SC20 video, I didn't have a first section. In this video, I didn't have a first section. I've only got a final section, and the issue here is, is I've been too good, so I'm in third instead of being in any kind of pack to make it interesting like that. And I've been not good enough to not be first or second. And they're way far gone, so it's not an intense, you know, who's going to make the mistake. It's just kind of how much is the Bugatti going to catch me up or how many positions am I going to lose? Because I'm far away from second and I'm far away from fourth. So if anything, it's more so will I even catch up to either end? Well, I guess we'll figure out right about now let's stay on the road oh shit sliding already i already think this thing sucks oh it already feels so slow it made a weird sound just then but i think that was the hoon up kit oh i already feel myself getting caught up to in droves as much as this thing is one of my least favorite looks wise this thing might just suck it might just have the Worst looks, in my opinion, of any hypercar. And also, handle the worst out of any hypercar. Because as far as I can make out, we're not catching up. In fact, they're already, like, two turns ahead of me. And they're only, like, one turn ahead of me before. The Hone It Up engine kit is nice, but I don't even think I'm going to get caught up on. This thing might just be just usable enough that I can... Just keep my position, really. I mean, if people were on me, sure, then I'd have something to worry about, but nope. I'm just chilling in third. Honestly, I'm kind of getting more of the hang of the slide on this thing. It just slides a bit more than the SC20 does. It's nothing too crazy or out of the ordinary. It's just kind of a little bit too much of a slide than I would like. And not the same braking distance that I would like, but I mean, just how far behind was anyone? So we finished here. When's the next guy gonna come through? How far away were we? Oh, there we go. There's the next guy. And I'll just, I'll plow into him. Why not? Hey, fellas, I'm coming after you. I'm gonna jump scare you. There you go. Yeah, nice jump scare. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Why am I why am I finding so much pleasure in this? I just I just imagine I'm having a heart attack going around well not actually, but like I imagine them just just breaking it going around the corner and all of a sudden I'm there. How far away were we behind them? About 10 to 15 seconds? I did slow down a little bit. It's a very middle of the road car then I guess. Alright, look, if this thing wants to slide, I'm gonna slide this thing. We're taking it into the final Gymkhana event, the Hoonigan Motorfest event. Okay, there we go. The Gymkhana Motorfest. Oh, no! Okay, I missed all of the- oh, ow! I missed the- I missed the precision and then I got straight into a wall. I'm terrible, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Look, I'm gonna blame the car, but it's absolutely my fault. But look, we can redeem ourselves. We can redeem ourselves. Let's just get a full gym car meter tossing and turning in a priceless concept Bugatti. Honestly, as far as stability, I, I even think, even when it comes to sliding, the SC20 might actually be better. This thing can go far. Can I make that? Yes, I can. In a very odd way. Let's drive our way around. I do think this thing can slide, but the SC20 just has the stability there. As much as the looks, I think a, a bit better than what I was expecting, but still kind of suck. I will say that this thing 
It, it, it's done exactly kind of what I was expecting with the handling. The looks surprised me, but the handling has has it's not shocked me it's all this thing's long it's thin it's weird looking i'm not surprised that this thing utterly sucks but then again even though it utterly sucks we did get a fair bit of jim carter done so maybe this thing can't be that bad you know in fact i can even know gravity in this thing oh did you see that did you see that coming towards the end we can do another rail grind in fact there's another Another rail grind that comes up here. Okay, I missed that one. Nice, great. Okay, thank you. We can do some more donutting here. We've done our final... Well, not final. We've done our second to last gym carnometer, meter. And that's not... That's not gonna help at all. I don't know what that was. Can I manage to precision strike? I can. Can I drift around and get a bunch of precision strikes. No, okay, no, yep, one, two, no, this thing just doesn't, this thing just doesn't drift tight enough. Oh, that was two at least. But there we go, that is the end of the event. There we go. This thing is essentially exactly what I just mentioned in that race. It surprised me as far as looks, the two tone, the color changing, and the interior changing as well, as well as a second rim option. This thing actively has more customization than the SC20, but it just kind of sucks is the issue. As much as, yes, it held up its better own in the PvP, that's because I was just in the middle of nowhere as far as it goes for positions. I was just, like, dead stuck th third. And obviously dead stuck third led to, well, not a lot I can do, really. Except hit really cool 360s. Well, what did you think of this car? Let me know. Head down there, subscribe. Thank you to popular members. A special thing to famous members. And an insane, insane thank you to star members, Danimal, the Manimal, Grim Pepper. And an insane, insane top of the top thank you to icon member HK. See you boys in the next one. In a... In a... Fit.